I'm going to do a quick modification on my Phantom 4 Pro transmitter. I have the HDMI output module and I'm going to show you how to change that. It's really easy. You need, um, it's not a screwdriver, but a special tool to get these screws out. And then you can just take this one off. And then you need a small screwdriver and you take out these three screws and then with your fingernail you have to lift up a tiny little leveler here and here and here And then with this one, you can gently pull this one out, the other one too. Like this. And then this one, you just take it in your fingers and you pull it out. And then the new one, you just in in the same way you put it in gently and when it's in you click that thing back then you put that this little plate back and you put these wires back in Like this and then put the leveler back I'm just gonna put a screw back in maybe it's easier to do it like this yeah definitely easier put the lid back put the screw back in And that's in place and now you got to put the new one in here and there is a connector here so it has you have to push it and then you can put these screws back and that's it done really easy there is a chance that you need a firmware upgrade it's working. I got I got the output here. As you can see over here it says updates required. getting image it said upgrade firmware I upgraded the firmware for the transmitter and now you need to upgrade firmware for the Phantom 4 so I need to connect the aircraft so the other gable goes in here it's at 50% battery I have mm. and then this one has to go in here
it's finished right Alrighty, look. So here's the test. I got the big screen over here, and uh, the HDMI module output is connected to the big screen. The USB is connected to my tablet, and here is my camera, my Phantom. So what you can see, I can move my finger over here, and then you can also see it move over here on the tablet, and you can also see it move on the big screen. So what you can see I quickly move it up and this one is a little bit behind can you see it one two three four if you look at the big screen and if you compare it with the tablet and over here you have to look well It's a little bit later. The tablet is lagging a fraction of a second. The HDMI output is a little bit more. It's not much. Both are actually quite good. But the tablet is better. And I didn't expect that. I thought the HDMI output was better. But the tablet is better. That's amazing, that's crazy. If I take the cable from the screen, from the television, and I put it in the HDMI output of the tablet, and now we're gonna do the same test, right? You can see that the tablet and the screen are going exactly at the same time maybe one two frames difference but this screen is bigger i don't exactly know so this hdmi output from the tablet is better than the hdmi out output from the module from the transmitter basically that's good news the HDMI module costs 100 euros. The tablet costs 200 euros. If you need a tablet for your setup, you better spend the extra 100 euros for the NVIDIA Shield than for the HDMI output. Because it's better, it's quicker, it has less lag, and you have the entire screen, all the information. You will see it in your goggles. Wow! That is nice. I think this is the way to go, all right? This can save you money. So like the video, subscribe to my channel to find more of this kind of stuff and leave your comments, right? It's gonna be fun. You and I together on this channel, we're gonna do some great things. Or what? See you next video.